In movies, I've always been attracted to silhouettes. What does she look like on camera for this movie? I was really interested in fit and flair because I thought it'd be a nice shape. And it was, it turned out really great. Hi, Focus fashion fans. Welcome back to Dress, a series that celebrates the costumes of Focus Features films. Today, we're checking out the totally awesome 80s costumes of Lisa Frankenstein. Lisa Frankenstein is a campy, dark comedy about a misunderstood teenager who accidentally reanimates a handsome corpse from the Victorian era. Starring Catherine Newton as Lisa and Cole Sprouse as a creature, this unlikely duo embark on a murderous journey to find love, happiness, and a few missing body parts along the way. Written by Diablo Cody and directed by Zelda Williams, this playful reimagining of Frankenstein takes viewers on a colorful ride back to 1989 in this coming of rage story. Sophie, bitch! Cole, Catherine, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited you guys are here. I'm really looking forward to going down memory lane with you guys. Me too. And looking at these costumes from 1989. Let's do it. Let's do it. The costumes, the accessories, the hair, and makeup, everything was so on point. Catherine, I want to ask you, what's your favorite costume from the movie that you love? That's so hard, but if I'm not going to say one of mine. Our boy Henry. He plays like the classic hot guy, you yes. know what I mean? And I just think that we nailed it. Does it get more classic than a leather studded jacket in the 80s? My other favorite is Taffy. Her cheerleader costume? It's iconic. We put leggings with this outfit, which was kind of fun because I felt free. I could still move around and not worry about anything. Were we you worried of, the other time? We had time? a lot of digging to do in the movie. <laughs> Okay, so Cole, as the creature, yeah. was there a costume that you really got attached to? Um, there was this one. I think it's great. Can I have that t-shirt? It's a cool t-shirt. It's a very it, good t-shirt. I think the shirt is Zelda's, actually. Are guys so simple that you just have to put on a pirate skeezer dress and suddenly they want to talk to you? <laughs> you had some very iconic 80s looks. You know I did. Megan, our costume designer, had a really good arsenal of vintage pieces. And this is actually vintage. Mm. This was our costumer's actual vintage sweater. Costumes are more than just clothes. They yeah. really inform the character. The way the character chooses to externally represent themselves is like when it all begins. <gasps> I love it. No? Just give it a chance. If somebody wanted to modernize a look from 1989 to 2024, how do they do it? Right here. You know what's funny? I just did I, it. I, I actually... I, I, I kind of I have to say I agree with you guys. You've got the jean silhouette on Cole that's really 80s. Yeah, late 80s and through the 90s is really hot right now. Yeah. And I, I don't think it actually takes a lot to make this feel modern. Honestly, an oversized blazer with a graphic tee. Yeah, maybe a white tee underneath even. I feel like this is just something I would Look wear. Look at this. This already looks great. I think this is a harder look to pull off, but I would. You know you'd see me doing it. And maybe we could ditch the floppy hat. Yeah, Joe, we... I really don't think you're liking the floppy hat. I, I loved it. Like the floppy like hat. In 1989. I'm not making any more comments. Really hope this goth phase ends soon. Thank you so much for sharing your stories from the movie. You guys, this is the first time with the cast talking about the costumes, so. That's exciting. I'm very excited to see Lisa Frankenstein and share it with the world, Thank so. Thank you for having us. Of course, you guys in 1989. Honored. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lisa looks good. She could probably even do pageants if she had congeniality. Thank you for joining us for this special episode of Dressed, and I hope you enjoyed the very rad costumes from Lisa Frankenstein. I can't wait to see you all next time. Until then. <laughs>